Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is uh, Saturday, June 8th, and the moon is in Pisces this morning. Um, <clears throat> so the morning is has that flavor, that mystical flavor of Pisces. We have the moon make a conjunction to Neptune in Pisces and a sextile to Pluto in Capricorn. Both Neptune and Pisces and Pluto and Capricorn are in the latter degrees of that sign. Of course, Neptune is not going to get any later in the sign because it just turned retrograde. So it's moving backwards again. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Actually, Pluto is also retrograde, but it it's, uh, you know, retrograding back. Um, it's going to retrograde back to the 28th degree of uh, Capricorn and then turn back around and then re-enter Aquarius in January of 2024. Um, <clears throat> but that Pisces energy is mystical and magical. It's kind of dreamy. And it's really kind of been the last couple of days have been a little bit of a vacation from reality with the Pisces moon. Um, <clears throat> almost as if it's... Um, uh, giving us a, a, a temporary break from the action <laughs> and uh, a well-needed temporary break from the action, I would say. Um, but then at 3.20 this afternoon, the moon moves into Aries. And when the moon moves into Aries, we want to get started. We want to do stuff. Aries is a uh, cardinal fire sign. Cardinality means that it's initiatory. And fire means that it's passionate. And so we're moving on our passions later today. Um, and so, you know, we had plenty of rest, <laughs> hopefully, with that Pisces moon. So enjoy it while we still have it. And then once we get into um, the Aries moon, um, <clears throat> in the, in the um, I guess, later, later afternoon, mid-afternoon, that would be a yeah, mid-afternoon. Um, and then we'll feel a little bit more ambitious and uh, <clears throat> do the things that, that need to get done, or at least that we feel passionate about. So it's a combination of chilling out and then finally saying, hey, I feel like doing this, which for me is going to be good because I got a lot of stuff I got to do. And <laughs> I've been a, a tad lazy this week. Uh, mostly because, you know, it was my birthday week and, you know, you just eat cake and <laughs> hang out with your friends. How bad can it be, right? Oh my goodness. So, <clears throat> black raspberries are still coming in. I've been eating them every day. And in fact, I'm going to grab a few now while I'm talking to you. This is like my breakfast, my snacks. Every time I want a snack, I come out to the, to the raspberry bush. Um, I'm glad a lot of times we have a lot this year. It's a good black raspberry year, it seems. <clears throat> Some years the, the birds get all of them before I can get a chance, but there's just so many yummy things for the birds to eat around here. We can see the uh, <clears throat> thistle is starting to turn purple. It's still not quite bloomed out. <clears throat> and when it does, that's when all the bees come on. The bees really like this stuff. Um, it's like a ball of pollen. It's like a, a ball of food for them. So who wouldn't love it, right? Somebody, it's like a, what are those things? Cake pops? Want some cake here? Have it in a round cake pop shape. <laughs> who would say no? <laughs> All right. And of course, the, um, <clears throat> the lavender is just full of bees today, which I love to see. Mostly bumbles, but we do see the occasional honeybee. I haven't seen too many honeybees this year, but lots of bumblebees <clears throat> and other pollinators. So we make an effort not to, uh, not to use anything that's going to harm the pollinators. So, all right. Is that what's going on? That's it. All right, guys, have yourself a great day. Like, and subscribe if you would. Uh, you can check out my, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? My uh, 
reading on Samuel Alito called Supreme Justice. Uh, I have one on Clarence Thomas that will come out next week for YouTubers. But if you're a Patreon, you can check that out now. And I'm going to get the week ahead out today um, for next week, which promises to be a very active week. Um, and then the next week, which is a really active week. But uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. <laughs> All right, guys, have yourself a great day. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone. Namaste.